Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a review on the new Mickey and Friends Disney collection with Morphe that they came out with. I love Disney in general, so that's something that really made me get it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I achieved this look with the Mickey and Friends eyeshadow palette. So keep watching if you guys are wanting to know how I got this look. Alrighty, so um, today, like I was saying in the beginning, we are going to go ahead and review the uh, Disney palette that uh, was collaborated with Morphe. So I really wanted to uh, purchase this Disney palette uh, that Morphe had uh, came out with just because honestly the truth behind all of this is um, my sister-in-law actually received this palette uh, from her boyfriend for Christmas um, so I was so interested in you know how it looked I, I really liked it it was really cute and I didn't even know that um, Morphe was coming out with this Disney collaboration so I was really so excited and so um, obsessed as soon as I saw the palette so I was like I'm just gonna go ahead and buy it for myself because nobody else bought me it hint hint <laughs> um my boyfriend I'm just kidding <laughs> but yeah I like I said I wanted to go out and buy it so I actually ordered um the palette and uh let me go ahead and show you guys how that looks before I actually get started here with my little with my makeup look that I'm going to be doing using this palette. The first things first is I did uh, get the palette. It's this one here. It's really cute. Super, super, super cute. I love the cover. I love the colors. I love how it has all the Disney people on there. Disney characters. It has Mickey, it has Minnie, uh, Donald, and uh, Daisy. So, love it. Let me go ahead and open it. This is my first time opening it. Well, first time opening this one, but I actually, like I said, I had already seen the other, the actual palette. Cool. So again, I honestly, I love Disney. I love Disney. I love Disneyland. I love Disney World. I love Disney. So, um, for sure, love Disney. My little necklace is from Disney. I went ahead and bought it when I went to Disneyland. And this is so cute. It's so nicely wrapped. It's really cute. Really cute. Oh, look at this. This is how it looks. Let me, it has a little plastic cover thing. That way it doesn't smear or the colors don't get all mess messed up. This is how the palette looks. Hopefully you guys can see it. Hopefully you guys can I see it. I see myself. It's really, really cute. I love all the, the colors in there. Honestly, I also wanted to get this palette because the colors are really bright and like rainbow -y rainbow ish colors i've always wanted a palette like that i think i remember telling you guys in my first introduction video um that i've been wanting to do like a bright look on my eyes um and because i always do my eyeshadows are like super neutral super like browns and um blacks and all that like kind of brown nude nude colors um like a pink i do pink colors also but other than that it's mostly like super simple i'm gonna go ahead and try a really bright look today not too bright but it's really cute though i can't wait i can't wait honestly um so yeah this is the palette guys um honestly i paid full price on the website but now i just checked and it's actually on sale for 16 dollars um on morphe.com so go ahead and get yours if you guys want to try it out or just want to own it because you guys are disney fans like myself um so it used to be 32 but it's showing on the website it's 16 i don't know if it's just for now or it's gonna be on sale forever now i don't know until it sells out um but i got it for 32 dollars um okay so this is the palette 
$32, which is $16 now on the Morphe website. So go ahead and go purchase it. The other things I got were these uh, little lipsticks. Um, it came with the collection. It's the little um, lipsticks. And these are the colors here. So it's these here. And then these are the colors. They're really cute, actually. Really cute, but I... It's not something I would really wear on my everyday look because it has that like red, that red lip and then that pink. The pink I would probably wear, maybe the that little brownish in there. I'll go ahead and swatch these for you guys um, a little later in my video because I don't think I'm actually going to be using them today. I don't know. We'll see how my eye look goes first and then we'll go ahead and see if I actually um, use these, but... These are really cute and I'll show you guys more about them later on my video. Later along my video. I also had to purchase the mirror um, that was part of the collection because this is honestly super, super cute. I've been wanting one of these hand mirrors for the longest time ever and I was like, this is Disney so like why not? <laughs> um, this is so cute. I'm actually going to use this to do my makeup look today. Super, super cute. It has, it looks like this little ears this is the front um let me see how much this one's going for because honestly let me see hmm. i think it was like 10 or 12 not too sure oh i don't i don't think it's on there anymore oh my god it actually sold out i think um, well, it looks like the original price for the hand mirror was actually $18, um, but it looks like I got it for $14.40. I think there was a little discount going on, so I got it for $14. So it's uh, regularly $18, but it's so cute, so I had to buy it. Let me open this up real quick and show you guys what this is all about. like this <laughs> it's smaller than I thought it was gonna be um definitely I thought it was gonna be way bigger but it's actually really small but it's cute I mean you know at least I can definitely look at myself and do my makeup with this so it's so cute actually I really like it it's small and cute this is how that looks okay cute cute okay this is really cute um so $18 but it sold out on morphe so I don't think you can find it on morphe anymore um I think you'd have to go look for it somewhere else um but I'm sure they have it at other places but I like the the matte black here this is cute I love this texture here um but yeah, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Um, let's go ahead and get started with my makeup look that I'm going to be doing with the palette that I purchased. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Um, and I'll be using my Mickey Mirror. Okay, so first things first is we're going to go ahead and pull my hair back. I'm going to be using these Kylie hair clips that I purchased a while ago. And they're really amazing. I really love them. Really, really amazing. Honestly, I love them because when you take them off, they de definitely don't leave like a little crease. And then also, um, they don't pull your hair because a lot of the little clips pull your hair. Um, and these ones don't. So I really like these. Go check them out as well on the Kylie website. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a really simple look today. It's not going to be too, you know, crazy, too out there. Um, so it's going to be really simple. I'll show you guys um, in just a second. Sorry, I'm just like trying to get my hair all organized. And if you guys didn't notice, I cut my hair. Actually, my boyfriend cut my hair. <laughs> so, I mean, if it came out ugly, then, you know whatever at least it was free <laughs> and i didn't have to go pay 20 bucks at um that one place i get my hair cut at okay so we're gonna get started i'm gonna go ahead and there's also brushes that came with the with the uh, 
Mickey collection. Um, but I didn't purchase them because I have a lot of brushes already. So we're just going to go ahead and use these H&M brushes that I bought at H&M. Um, okay. I'm going to use this one first. And actually, I already did my eyebrows, if you guys noticed, and also I primed my eyelids, so that way it's easier for the eyeshadow to go on there. Um, so the first color that I'm going to take um, is going to be, um, it's going to be Stop and Stare, it's this little pink color up here, this one here, I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to go ahead and use that as my base color is that what they call it also it's hard also I wish that this palette would have had a mirror that way I can just like do that but it doesn't so it's hard because I'm gonna have to grab my Mickey mirror and then have my palette here next to me so this is gonna be a struggle and then I'm gonna go ahead and start and I'll let you guys know how pigmented this is I don't know if it's pigmented at all go ahead and do the same on the other side I'm gonna get a little closer so you guys can see honestly guys I also wanted to go ahead and I wanted to make like a valentine's video or like a look of my valentine's day outfit and makeup but I honestly, I just didn't have the time. Um, if you guys saw in my story, I actually went to Vegas with my family. So honestly, we got back really fast and it was, it just, it, we got back on Sunday and then Monday was actually Valentine's Day. So I didn't really have the time to um, do like a video or anything. It was just, we were kind of just tired and we were in a rush. So, um, yeah. going on there really lately you can barely even see it okay so I just had to pack that on a little bit more I'm gonna go ahead and take this one next to it it's called a uh, big big bows it's this one right here this one the one next to it so I'm gonna go ahead and take this one big bows and just do the same thing just put it on my crease a bit this one should pop up a little more because it's more of a pink like like a like a like a brighter pink so it should pop up more something i'm noticing is that it's not very pigmented um so like that bright pink i really thought it was gonna be like really pigmented because it looks like it on the brush um but it's really not <laughs> oh <laughs> and there's a lot of fallout as well so like as soon as i get some off the palette there's a lot of fallout like around it so that's it's all right i guess and honestly guys when doing eyeshadow the most important thing is that you blend you blend 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 because blending actually does a lot of it does a lot of the miracles um a lot of uh, the works so when doing your eyeshadow just remember that you guys always have to blend and blend for a while because um you honestly that's what makes your makeup look really good at the end it's just the blending so just don't forget that so there i kind of went in with that pink you guys can kind of see it My dog is, my dog is dreaming. He's funny. He tends to dream a lot.
My dog's dreaming. He's funny. He's like snoring slash dreaming. Okay, so that's how that looks. It's looking good so far. Um, like I said, not too pigmented, so definitely just watch out for that. Um, then I'm going to actually make a somewhat of an, you know, little transition. I'm going to be using this all. It's called the all goodie. It's this little purple right here. This one. It's a little purple. And I like these also. I really like, I really like the palette because it actually has a little like designs of like Mickey characters on there. So it's really cute. It has like the little the little designs on there. That's cute. I love it. Ooh, this one went on really nice. Really pigmented. Look at that. Look at that. That's so pigmented. That one is pigmented a little bit. But you just have to keep blending. Okay, sorry guys. Change of plans. I'm going to actually, because the pink, I want it to show up more. I'm going to go ahead and do like this. It's called Koi Toy. I'm going to do this first before I do the purple. So this one right here is like a brighter pink. This one. It's like, it's called Koi Toy. I'm going to use that first because I really want that pink to stick out. Um, so let me use that first. Let me do the other eye before I start with the purple. This one's good. Oh, nice. Nice. I like this. So cute. I really wanted to add that pink because I really wanted the color to pop out. I didn't want it to just be, you know, a boring eye look. Um, let's get up more closer to you guys. Okay, guys, so I finished that um, pink bright um, shade on there. So I'm going to go in with that purple, the one I was saying, all goody. I'm going to go in with that and kind of go here. Again, I really was just trying to, I'm trying to do like kind of pink tones and, you know, just kind of to give a Valentine's Day vibe because I didn't. I didn't do a Valentine's Day video, so I'm just kind of trying to make up for that, so. Ooh. Ooh, this is really cute. I love this. So cute. This is so cute. I love it. The purple's really pigmented, so I definitely love this. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go in with a darker shade of purple. It's going to be... Let's do... Let's do this one out loud. It's this one up here. This one. Let's do out loud. Let's just get intense, guys. Let's do it. Let's get intense. Let's get intense. Um, so I've really been I've really been wanting to go to Disney guys again. I went just honestly last year. I think in September, but I love Disney so much. Honestly, if I could spend like a week there, I would definitely do it. Um, but it's so expensive, so expensive. You know what? Let's go even darker. Let's go even darker. So let's do Very Vixen. It's this one right here. This one. Let's do that one. Just do it. Let's see what what we create here. Um, I'm scared because I don't want it to be too bright. I'm just 
Okay, so uh, this is how that looks. Um, now I'm going to go ahead now and um, what am I going to do? I'm going to go ahead and take one of the shimmers and then I'm going to go ahead and put that here um, in my eyelid towards the inner corner. Um, I really love shimmers. I'm obsessed with them. So uh, any opportunity that I have to make my eye, to put any shimmer on my eye, I'm definitely all for it. So now I'm going to go ahead and take that pink shimmer in here. Now I'm going to apply that with my a little brush. I usually apply the shimmers with my, um, with my fingers, but today, because... I'm wearing, I have long nails. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little um, brush like this. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the pink shimmer in here. It's called Major, Major Look. This one right here. And I'm going to put it here in the like, inner corner of my eyelid. That's going to be like my shimmer color. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to try it on like that first. But then if it doesn't apply good, I'm going to go ahead and add some... Um, um, uh, setting spray because usually with that it makes it more intense is what I've heard yeah it doesn't let me try to apply it on with my finger and see if I can um it does apply but it's not as pigmented as I'd want it to be it's like this it's not as pigmented though this look is for sure giving me a lot of Daisy vibes. Because Daisy's colors are like pink and purple. Okay, so this is my finished look. It's really cute. I really like it. Um, so let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeliner real quick. I'm going to put on some lashes and I'm going to go ahead and put on my foundation. And then I'll show you guys how it all looks at the very end. Alrighty, so the lashes are on. Now I'm going to do my under eye real quick. I'm going to take this, the Out Loud, this one here. And I'm going to go ahead and put some of that on my brush and do my under eye. Does anybody else open their mouth when doing their under eye? Because I do. I do. I don't know why. I just do. I get scared. I don't know. I get scared that... I'm gonna poke my eye. And now, also for my inner corner, I'm gonna, for my inner corner, I'm gonna put a little color in there. It'll probably be, let me see, I'm gonna take my brush again. It's not gonna be the pink. I'll go ahead and do this, like, this little shimmer here. Or, let me see, cause, let me see if I can do it. Yeah, that one's cute. It's called Staring Staring Contest. That I'm going to put in my inner corner. That's done. Okay, cool. And now I'm going to go ahead and add some mascara. Also, when I'm doing mascara, I'll also open my, my mouth. I don't know why I get scared, I guess. Sorry if you guys hear my dog crying in the back. He's he just be crying, honestly. Alrighty, so now I'm done. Let me get some setting spray real quick and just spray some. I don't like to spray it where my eyelashes are at because then it tends to get wet and it makes the lashes fall off. Um, but let me take out my hair clips. Yay! This is my finished look. I'm so happy. Now, I didn't do my lips because I might actually use the Disney lipstick. 
so first i'm gonna swatch them for you guys and then we'll see if they're good enough to make them on my lips the first one is gonna be bow babe bow babe it's it's like a little a brown nudish so i'm gonna go ahead and put this on Ooh, it has a little m on there i don't know if you guys can see that but it's cool oh my god it looks so cool it has a little characters like engraved in there like i don't know if you guys can see this but this is so cute it has a little characters in there this is really cute i like it right away it's not too pigmented but then you make it pigmented it's this one here this is how that looks it's okay it's all right it's not too bad um i like it it's like a little beige color um now the next one is going to be oh boy <laughs> famous phrase by mickey oh boy is like it's the red one it's this one here this one's so cute Ooh. okay i'm not a red lipstick girl but this is cute it's this one here that's cute hmm and then I have, oh, I just put it in my hair. Then the last one is going to be this pink one. It's going to be Goody Goody. This reminds me of Daisy. Oh my God, this is so bright, guys. I don't know if I'll use this right now. Look at this. It's so bright. Okay, so these are going to be on the shades. I think out of my, out of all three, my favorite one is the beige one. Um... That one's called Bow Babe. Um, again, that's my favorite one, my personal favorite one, because other two I don't really feel like, I feel like I would never really use. Um, but again, and actually, off camera, guys, I actually tried these on. Um, I tried the pink one on. It's really dry on my lips. It was really dry. It's something that I probably would never wear. I just don't recommend the lipsticks because for sure they're really dry they're just hard to put on and it also makes your lips really really chapped that's definitely something that i don't recommend the lipsticks um so i give that mm, like a three out of ten uh, the palette for sure i definitely loved i love so much again it wasn't too pigmented as much as i would have wanted it to be so, um, I think I give the palette, uh, probably an eight, honestly, because I love the colors. I love everything in there. And I actually ap applied on my lips, um, Venus, Huda Beauty Venus, because again, uh, it was just something I didn't want to use the lipsticks. So, um, we're getting towards the end of my review, guys. Um, again, I 100% approve this. If you're a Disney fan and you love anything Disney, definitely recommend getting it just because it's really cute. Um, might, maybe one day you might use it. And the bright colors also. Summer's coming up. Easter. All the good holidays. So I definitely do recommend. Um, so in the mirror, 100%. That's like a 10 out of 10. It's really, really cute. Really, really cute. I love it. And if you guys want to go ahead and try a new palette, I definitely do recommend that palette, the Disney um palette with morphe um again you guys can get that on morphe.com it's for 16 dollars um the mirror is not on sale anymore on there but i'm sure you can get it at other places um and then for sure the lip sticks i would say i don't recommend personally i don't recommend them um, but it's up to you guys if you guys want to try them out um again I hope you guys enjoyed this video that I made for you guys. Um, I know I haven't posted in a long time, um, but I'm so happy that I was able to do this video, uh, this review for you guys. Um, and if you guys have any questions at all about anything, please let me know. Um, any questions about the palette, any questions about anything, let me know. I'll go ahead and post down below in the description uh, the products I used and um, like the colors, exactly which ones I used for the eyeshadow. Um, but again, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like this video if you guys really enjoyed it, if you guys enjoyed watching it, if you guys learned something from it. Um, and please subscribe to me, guys, so that way you guys are able to see all my future videos. Um, but again, guys, that's going to be it. That's going to wrap up my video today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it again. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope you guys take care, and I will be seeing you guys very, very soon. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.